Hi everyone, thank you for coming back to my channel. I'm Stephanie if you're new here. So in today's video, I'm going to be heading to Sam's Club. I've been talking about it for the last couple videos and I took three of my kids with me so I could have multiple shopping carts to be able to get everything that I need at Sam's Club. I knew this month that I wanted to get a bulk order and this is exactly what I did. It was nice for me to be able to just go and get the things that I needed. My daughter took my younger ones and I didn't have to worry about that. So we ended up sitting and having a little bit of lunch together quick before we uh, got everything that we wanted to get. I did write down a list of things that I had in my mind that I usually would get and I was able to pretty much get everything that I need. I did have to add another order to Walmart and I ended up adding it to my last grocery haul. Um, I needed to get some stuff for our pantries the kids needed some more stuff for their bedrooms and if you guys missed that video go back and watch my once a month grocery haul from walmart actually is probably one of my biggest hauls at sam's club and i needed to get a lot of stuff so i spent about 900 dollars at sam's club and i think my last one i spent about 900 i think at walmart I'll put the total of what I spent on the bottom of the screen for Sam's Club. But I was excited to go, and I think if I can, until winter, uh, I will probably go once a month maybe and just get the things that we need. And that maybe I won't do like a once a month grocery haul from Sam's, um, but I was able to actually sit and look over everything and really focus on everything that they had there. So now that I can uh kind of jot that down otherwise if you have the app you can go on the app and you can add everything to your shopping cart and then when you get to sam's club you can do the scan and go and that's what we do so we just take our phone and we scan everything so i do a quick checkout before i head out the store and then i just show them my code and that way i don't have to go through the registers i just had one of my kids scan everything and that was easy and then i just videotaped so i was really happy with this order we are going to see how this is going to be for the month of april um and we'll just see what happens so i think with this haul this will hold us over till may and like i said we have a lot of meat and stuff on hand so i don't really have to worry about that it's just our quick meals for lunch and then a lot of times we make homemade food for supper so that's what we're going to do for the month of april i did have someone asking if i would show some meals don't have anything planned for this month but i'm thinking about something else that maybe i can add to my channel but that might be in the future for right now i'm just going to keep getting the things that i get and them are the things that we like to stock up on and put out in our outside pantry all right so we're going to continue to go shopping we're going to head home it's about half an hour to 40 minutes away from home and we're going to unpack everything put it on the table and i'm going to share all of that with you in today's video
just got back from Sam's Club and I took a couple kids with me. So I took Eli with me, Miles with me, and Declan with me. And Hudson had to work today, Gage had to work today, and Evelyn, Nash, and Lachlan all went by my daughter's house. So I took the kids that could push carts and that were able to help. The only thing that I don't like about Sam's Club and what I need to do better with is either grab some of their boxes or bring some Walmart bags. Because the kids are bringing everything in from the van with no bags and that's the only thing that I don't like. We could do boxes next time. <coughs> I don't know. So I'm glad that I went. I'm hoping that I have room for everything. We got a lot of extra stuff, which is good. And yeah. So I was, Eli was just showing me the peanuts. So when I was up by my brother, there was a cafeteria there and they have this little snack pack and it was like nuts and beef jerky and cheese. And I was like, why don't I just make that at home? So I did get some of these and I did get some of these and they chopped them up really tiny and then uh it was just like in little containers and I have a lot of containers for my mom's funeral yet so I think I'll like prepackage some stuff and just put it in the fridge so us for us it's gonna be cheaper that way than for us to buy them little um snack packs that I was buying uh oh look at miles okay so I'm gonna get the table set up and I'm gonna share everything that I got today at Sam's Club all right, so I'm going to start on this side. Everything that I got is in bulk to the most part of what we normally would probably go through in a month. Um, I did get less in cereal, I think, this month um, because they have, like, everything double boxed there. But I think it's still cheaper than uh, getting it from Walmart individually. So that's kind of what I did. The bubbly is always cheaper at Sam's. I get... Uh, for one eight pack at Walmart, I think it's like four bucks and for something, and I can get three of them for nine something. So that's super cheap there. Um, I did get the Waterloo from there also, and that was $10 for the same amount for the 24 pack. Mm -hmm. So that is good. And then some of the snacks that I don't usually get, I got at Sam's, like the roll-ups and the fruit snacks, just because of how much is in the package. It's cheaper to just do Sam's. Um, so that's what I did. And then beef jerky is always expensive, um, but we've been wanting that. So we'll just cut it up in smaller pieces, probably like, I don't know, maybe in half. And then we have another package that we'll probably just cut in half. And then we got some string cheese. And I mentioned that I want to put little snack packs together. So I'm thinking that's what I'm going to do. And we'll just cut them up, put them in um, these containers. And then the kids can just grab from it. It's just going to be easier that way. I did get a little bit of fruit um, from Sam's. But we always get fruit throughout the month. And I still have a couple bananas, a bag of apples and oranges on our snack caddy um so i don't need any of that our snack caddy is looking a little bare from what we were doing but this month was terrible so or i should say march was terrible um, so we got a whole bag of these oranges that need to get eaten up apples and then bananas and we always um pick up more up anyways all right so i got a big thing of string cheese if I have time, I'll put the price down below, but I don't know if I can do all that yet. So if I can, I will put the price down below. But um, for the string cheese, I don't remember how much this was, but there is, I don't even know if they say how many are in here, but this is just a bigger pack. So this should be good for the month. I did get some lettuce for maybe tonight for our supper. I'm thinking of doing hamburgers and salmon tonight for supper and red potatoes, possibly. Um, I do have hamburger buns, I think, from the last time I went grocery shopping. And then that is, I think, what we're going to have. And if I have time, maybe we can make some chocolate chip cookies. We just got a box of that 
in this order also. Uh, let me see, where is that box? Do you guys remember where, oh, it's back there. So we got a box of chocolate chip cookies that we can put together for tonight. Um, so that's what I think we're gonna do for supper. And then if you are new to my channel, we have a couple pantries that we like to store food in. And we always try to stock back up when it comes to the, our canned goods. Uh, so I got some canned stuff and then our ketchup, our spaghetti sauce, our barbecue sauce, our salt and pepper, which we found these really cool ones at Sam's. And the kids, some of the kids like using these. And then we have just regular other ones that we leave on the table. We have a couple of them that we put through our table. We have a big table and um, it's just easier to have multiple ones at the table. I did get this there. This is cherry cola with brown sugar and cherry seasoning. I'm excited to try that out. And then um, a 10 pack of the taco seasoning. So I got that. Some queso cheese, the Monterey Jack queso and salsa con queso. Uh, some tuna that we can put out on our shelf. And this big thing of hamburgers. This will be their first time trying these out. If you guys have tried these from Sam's, let me know in the comments. Um, so 40 patties. These are seasoned beef patties. So hopefully these are good. We had some blackberries, strawberries, and blueberries. So I can't remember the price of these, but I know Walmart for the smaller ones usually are around the same size or same price as the bigger ones at Sam's Club. All right, we got some corn dogs. So 36 of them in there. Uh, Miles wanted some of the strawberry kefir. And then I got this, Gage will like this, um, hash brown potatoes, makes 50 servings. Uh, we got a container of Rotel, six cans of black beans, and then the Hormel no bean um, that we'll put on the shelf. A bag of fish fillets. Evelyn's really been liking fish sandwiches lately. So does, I think Hudson does too. He just eats the patties the way they are. And then we got a big box of the French toast sticks. I don't know if they say how, how many are in there. 50 sticks. I did find this orange chicken, eight servings per box. So we'll see if, how that tastes. A big thing of mozzarella sticks, 72 of them. And a huge bag of chicken nuggets. And a box of the chicken breast tenders. The bag for the other tenders were three pounds, I think it was, for the same, well, I think it was like $2. This might've been $2 more, um, but that's okay. So the more, the better. And then I always get, when I go to Sam's, this pack, there's 18 of them in here. I don't usually go through Walmart to get these just because it's so much more expensive at Walmart. I did get two boxes of the waffles. We go through waffles quite a bit. So 120 waffles and then all our bubbly. We are going to be getting another fridge and freezer um, for, I'm hoping just for all our drinks. And then I have the 24 pack of the Waterloo sparkling water. Um, for our fridge out in the garage, we have a fridge and freezer out in the garage. So we'll get another fridge and freezer that we'll be able to put stuff in and then we have a fridge and freezer right there and three freezer chests and one upright out in the garage so that's kind of where we store a lot of our um fridge and freezer stuff we got a big box of the cheez -Its, big box or the double box of the frosted flakes so a lot of their cereal comes in a two pack so we have frosted flakes we got the Reese's Pieces, the Mini Wheats, the Hawaiian Sweet Rolls. I'll probably put a pack in the freezer. And a bunch of wraps. We always go through wraps. I got some croissants. I think I'm going to be making a chicken salad um, for lunch maybe. Some sun chips. We found this there, the Smart Food Sour Cream and Onion Chips. Doritos regular or the cheese the ranch this big box of chips so two big things 
because we go through a lot of chips. We like chips. Um, I got 300 of the paper plates. I think these were 19 something. Um, Ritz crackers. And then, like I said, I got the beef sticks, cranberry and pecans. And then I'll be mixing it with them nuts. I'll be crunching that together. And for the fruit gushers, there's 42 of them in there. And for the roll-ups, there is 72 in there. For the chewy fruit nuts uh, trail mix, let's see, 48 bars in there. Uh, this is a chocolate chips that I was talking about. So there's four pouches in there. And for the other beef jerky, I got this. Um, beef jerky is always expensive, but we wanted to get a couple packs of them. Um, a big box, 100 pouches of the fruit snacks. So hopefully the kids like that kind. Um, I did get a big thing of the minute rice. This I always end up getting a small box at Walmart and we always need the big box. So I think that is it on this side of the table. Um, what else? So I got canned chicken, some tuna. I think I said that already. Uh, the canned roast beef, some spaghetti sauce, ketchup, the barbecue, big thing of garlic, which this was really cheap. And then the Alfredo sauce. Um, these pickles I got, which I'm going to be getting more from Walmart. These are the sucker punch pickles, uh, kosher kosher dill and spicy dill um so the kids always like oh snap so they're gonna try that out and then a 12 stay fresh pack of oreos um a big pack of the macaroni and cheese so 18 in there and then miles asked for these i'm not quite sure what they are have you tried these before these are blueberry did you know that okay all right at whose house Thailand. Okay. And then a big thing of hamburger, I think, I don't think it was $38. I don't remember. I think it was around 30 or something. Um, a big thing of salmon. So that is what we're going to probably make tonight. And then the kids, I got them some books from there. So Eli picked out this one, the New Testament handbook. And let me see. So we'll see how that one is. And then Miles picked out this shirt. Oops. And some shorts from there. For Evelyn, for some shirts, I got her this. I think they were $10 for three shirts. And then pajamas. Um a two pack and I think these also were $10. That's what that looks like. And Declan picked out, so th this was really funny. There was a easy, what was it? Stress-free word search book yeah. at Sam's Club. And Declan's, Declan's like, this one's, yeah, this <laughs> one is stress-free. So he, he picked out Bob Ross word search book. So that's exciting. Oh, it even has pictures in it. Oh, believe that you can do it. And then covered bridge. Oh, that's so cute. Winter scene. In life, you need colors. I pictured Declan with a big fro. Yeah. He would pick this one out. <laughs> Sunset over the waves. Oh, I love this one. Okay. So Declan got that. And Miles picked out this one. What will you... Build, enter the ice dragon, and then it comes with uh, Legos in there. And I got two of these books. They're sticker books. This one is Vintage Butterflies. So that is that. I actually got this one for my oldest daughter and her girls that they can put that together. And then this one too, Enchanted Garden. I thought that was kind of pretty. That'll be fun. Fun to put together. And for Evelyn for school, um, giant kindergarten, more work pages that she can work on. 
And then this big activity book for Evelyn. Debbie's Dollhouse. And it has some stickers and stuff in there. So she'll have fun with that. This new cereal to Cocoa Puffs, Cinnamon Toast Crunch, and tr Tricks. Declan just pointed out that there's three boxes or something, or it's all in one. I'm not quite sure. Maybe it's all in one. You think it's three boxes? Or maybe three small boxes. And then we got some mini wheats. All right, so I mentioned in the beginning of the video that I wanted to make some snack packs. I used the whole package of string cheese to make these snack packs. And what I did with the sausage, I cut them up in threes. I think I did. Sometimes I just kind of like cut up whatever. But I was going to kind of separate everything in the containers that I had, but I ended up just putting them all in one and I just made one snack pack for me. This way the kids can just pull out everything and they can just snack on it and it's not gonna be mixed with, you know, the sausage and the cheese and the nuts all together. This way they can just pull out whatever they want. So that's what I ended up doing. I did get a cranberry mix with nuts at Sam's Club and then I got the container with mixed nuts, sausage, and then the string cheese. Um, so what I also added was mini chocolate chips. That's kind of what it was like, what we got at uh, the cafeteria where my brother was at. So I wanted to make a couple of these. We've been snacking on them um, since we've put these together. I really like them. I think this is um, a nice snack that we can just pull out quick and the kids can pretty much have it whenever they want. Um, so I am going to do that for the rest of the video. I'm just going to um, cut some of this stuff up and mix it together. You can mix anything together. And if you have some of these containers, I got these from Sam's Club before my mom's funeral because we didn't know if we were going to have leftover food and we needed containers for that. So I did have enough containers to do these snack packs with um, and you can put any kind of snack pack together. So whatever you, whatever you would like. But I knew that I wanted to do something similar to what we had because it was really good. Uh, so that is what I'm going to do right now. And then after I get done making the snack packs, I'm going to take you out into our outside pantry. I just shared a little bit of our snack pantry area. I was just filling up all the drawers and stuff. I ended up getting some graham crackers and some Oreos. Uh, that I put in one of them drawers in the snack area. But out in the pantry, I ended up not even putting anything back on the shelves yet. Um, I just want to bring you guys out there and share with you what I all got to put back in there. Okay, so I'm just going to finish up and uh, get these done. And that should be everything for this snack pack. You're gone.
stuff that I got from Sam's Club that stuff needs to get put away uh, the things that I have in here some of them go in here some of them go in my other pantry um, and I didn't share my other pantry this month just because I haven't had time to clean it up and I will do that in another video um, but for today's video these are the things that are going to go in this pantry I just did a video on getting everything or getting caught up that was what it was called and it was talking about our pantry and Easter and birthdays and all of that um and i kind of said i needed to do a sam's club haul so these are from the last haul this is the stuff that i got this time so the beans the hormel and the rotel all go in the other pantry that i have in the garage so does the cheese um but the pantry for the for or some of the stuff that goes in this pantry is the spaghetti sauce and ketchup and then we have our barbecue our queso and our alfredo you can see we have one jar left we have a bunch of marinara and spaghetti sauce um and our like i said our cheese goes there um i did get a bunch of uh spaghettios meatballs and i meant to get the regular kind and they didn't have it so the kids ate some up already the whole thing was full and now i need to get more of them 
So that is on the list of what I need to get. I did get some more meat for up there. I did get tuna. So let's see, where do we got that? So let's see. I have some of that is missing, I think. Oh no, here's a tuna. Here's the chicken. Here is the roast beef that I just got at my grocery haul. You guys just saw that. So them are the things that are gonna go in this pantry. So that is everything that I got on my Sam's Club haul. If you have any questions about any of the stuff that we do as for food storage and how we store our food, just leave me a comment down below and I will answer it the best that I can. But otherwise, that is it for today's video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe. And I'll see you in the next one.